Good morning, traders. Paul with Gamma Edge here. Uh, today is Tuesday, the 13th of September. Let's get started. Pause your players here, please. Read to the bottom. If you agree, hit the play button. Summary for today, all the long signals are enabled. Of course, CPI may change that, but watch for opportunities to enter long. If CPI and the negativity, uh, if it materializes, uh, happens, do not ignore signals that turn off. Meaning, if you get in and the signal turns off intraday, you probably want to get out. Single day change in the wing charts is showing short term bullish. Uh, we close at the top of transition again, which uh, is generally bullish. Uh, to the upside, we're looking at 4150, 4200 uh, as the next target. We do expect some slowing into 4200 uh, as we absorb all of that overhead. Uh, we're starting at uh, 4110, and uh, if we get a gap down in the CPI, that obviously is going to increase the amount of deltas that would have to be absorbed. The zero DTE uh, suggests a lower level of about 4035, 4040 and an upper range of this 4095, 4100. Uh, in this range, we're expecting very little dealer pressure due to the zero DTEs, and so we'll wanna, um, you wanna pay attention to that. We're assuming fully hedged into the morning, but of course, uh, with the binary news events of the morning, we could, uh, could move wildly one way or the other. Uh, to the downside, 4000 is certainly a dominant line. A lot of delta down there, a lot of gamma down there. It's also COI and POI. It's also the new position for minus GEX. So we'll have to watch that pretty carefully. Um, on that, plus GEX has moved uh, up from 4150 to 4300. Minus GEX has moved up from 39 to 4000. Uh, something to pay, to pay attention to here. Uh, the shift upward is in alignment with the zeros that we're seeing. Uh, this is not predictive. This is an observation, kind of what we call driving by our rear, rear view mirror. So taking a look at the cumulative tick, uh, I've enumerated uh, the various signals and how you read these EOD. Uh, make sure you you're, uh, pause your player and read through this. It's important that you understand uh, each of the bubbles that are here. Uh, in terms of the SPX day over day, as I said, we're near parity. We're, we're seeing short-term gamma come out, long-term gamma go in, or short-term gamma on the positive side, the call side go in, and that's important, right? So puts coming out, calls going in, and you can see the SPXA is even near parity also. Uh, the SPXP, which is the PM settled, uh, we are seeing that uh, move up quite a bit um, above parity and uh, usually around 1.3 ratio, um, you're, you're gonna see uh, the potential to have some weakness in the markets, uh, especially as we started down around 0 0.6, 0 0.5 area. Uh, the OI changes, as I hinted to, uh, we are seeing uh, the puts go in and you can see what the distribution is. When you run these charts in the Discord, you can uh, actually click on them and they're interactive and hover over them and they tell you everything that you'd wanna know about uh, open interest and open interest change. Uh, the option complex zeros, the SPXA, which is the AM settled, these are the monthlies, these, uh, we consider this institutional money, is still showing this positive uptrend, which has bucked the downward trend, and I think that's important. You can see that we've stabilized somewhat in these on the TDZ and TGZs uh, for the rest, the red lines and the, and the orange lines. The key thing is that the institutions have not been uh, participating in the downside as much as we would think. Um, we are watching for a roll uh, this week and seeing some exposure of the downside. We're not seeing it yet, and I think that's going to be important. So for now, it appears that from this metric, the institutions are still looking at upside. Taking a look at the key levels here, we do have some overhead starting at that 4200 level. This is why we think we slow into that. Uh, 4000 is a dominant line in the sand. Don't think we're going down uh, there. We've got a lot of support below us. Um, we do see uh, an expected move that's very high today. That's ahead of the CPI, which I think releases at 830. Taking a look at the zero DTE, this is that soft range that I was talking about, uh, 4035, 4040 range, all the way up to like 485, 490, maybe all the way up to 4100. You can see what's happening, and we parked right here uh, last night into that uh, just above transition. I will note the zero DT is relatively weak. We're not seeing a lot of dominance here, 
and with the CPI range there's quite a bit of play here between the the top blue bar and the bottom blue bar taking a look at the combo uh, the playground that we're, we're thinking about today of course is this uh, 40 94 95 all the way up um, we do see supportive all the way on down to 4,000 so if we do play down in this area we don't think we're going much lower down here uh, this area here we do see is somewhat of a transition area so expect some wild swings back up in this area we'll have to just wait to see what happens this is pretty important uh, we have minus gex moving from 3900 up to 4000 and not showing up here is uh, 4300 which uh, it took the uh, the plus gex moniker from uh, 4150 so that jumped up also we do think progress above this 4190 is going to be more difficult here but we note that uh, we're in some pretty significant uh, positive gamma condition on the retail side as we head up so we're watching for an acceleration through 4150 and then to the downside you can see we don't have really the same magnitudes until we get down to that 4000 if we do get and drop below this 4,000, which again, we do not anticipate, but if we do drop, uh, it could be fairly ugly fairly quickly all the way down to 3950. Again, we're not anticipating that, but just uh, you know, be aware of, of the levels and be aware of the deltas that are being, uh, being portrayed here today. A um, little different uh, presentation than you're, what you're used to. I've taken away uh, the balance of the week. I just wanted to see where we position to the downside, we're not seeing much difference here. Uh, minus GEX drops to 3,800 by the end of the week. If things don't change, um, that is interesting. Uh, it's a little weaker, of course, to the downside. To the upside, you can see that we've got a lot of green deltas developing and that 4,300 remains. So pure positive gamma, significant magnitudes all the way up. Uh, we do think, uh, depending on what the CPI does, we do think actually that one of the trajectories it is possible to move up and we should pay attention to that. To the downside, or excuse me, to uh, the, the structure to the downside, um, again, 4,000 takes the minus GEX title from 3,900. This has grown a considerable amount even though we pushed up. So we are seeing puts go in uh, in some, some magnitude down here. Uh, here's the JPM short calls at 4,005, and then you can see we really start this transition at 4095. If we get trapped back in this area, we do expect the 4,000, 4,005 area to hold. If we do lose that, you can see it's lights out. Um, there's there's a lot that could happen if we we breach the uh, 4,000, 4,005 level. We closed here at 4110, uh, 4150 is that next target to the upside. Here's 4200. And then you can see 4,300 has grown enormously compared to yesterday. A lot of calls went in uh, up here at 4,300. Part of that is the role, part of that is the week, part of that is just opportunistic playing by folks. We don't think we're gonna get much higher than 4,340. Um, this is gonna grow in importance and right now is kind of a, a sets the brakes on, on advancement, but there's a lot of positive deltas up here also. So that could just blow us through here. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. So that's it for today. A um, little bit shorter, but I, I hope uh, to the point for you. Uh, if you like today's commentary or have any questions, uh, click on gammaedge.us or enter that into your browser. That'll take you to a very blank sign-up page. <laughs> Click on the pricing tab of our web. Uh, the web is under construction. Yes, we know it. Um, fill out the, uh, the information there. That'll get you into our Discord. Right now, everything is based in the Discord. Uh, the website is under development, and uh, we're making significant progress there. Uh, all the tools turned on. Great group of traders, uh, all experience levels, and I would urge everyone to come in, kick the tires, 14-day free trial. Uh, follow us on Twitter, please, at Gamma Edges with an S. And then here on YouTube, if you like today's commentary, please let me know. Hit that like button. And, of course, subscribe so you get notified next time Taylor, myself, or Michael post something. So with that, I bid you farewell. Uh, good luck to everyone today with, uh, with the CPI numbers uh, being released. And uh, hope to see you in the Discord. Take care.